What's up guys? Welcome back or to the channel and good morning. We got some stuff to do today. We got some stuff to clean up around here. We're going to be getting rid of Katie's axle here, but obviously um, the truck that's the correct height to do so obviously cannot haul that. So the only other truck we have, we don't have a purple Chevy anymore. We do have our Ram, however. Yeah, that guy's quite large. We're gonna be running up to U-Haul really quick. Uh -huh, again, a six by 12 with a ramp. Slide the axle on, go over to the recycling place, slide it off, return the trailer, come back. And we're gonna be matching the front calipers to the rear on this. Obviously, you can see the rears are not painted. But when I bought this, the fronts were for some reason. And with those stock wheels, they really, really stuck out. This does kind of hide it. The stock ones, it was in your face and you could really tell. On this one, however, um, you could still tell that the rears aren't painted. So we're just gonna paint them uh, with some VHD caliper paint. Best stuff. I I've used that stuff forever on so many vehicles, so many trucks. I'm gonna show you guys what to do. It's super simple and it, you don't gotta get crazy with it either. Um, it's, uh, it's just great. So we'll get into that today too and get this Tahoe matching as well, but first we gotta head over and pick up our U-Haul trailer because I don't have a trailer and I need one But if I bought a trailer, I kind of want to buy a gooseneck and a gooseneck would have to be customized to get to the height of my Ram But I don't want to buy a new gooseneck because new goosenecks are expensive So I kind of want to find like a used gooseneck, but they're not gonna be customized to my truck. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at trailer from U-Haul and we got the axle on here. I just kind of clipped it up here and then when I get to the scrap here, I'm going to push this out, lower it and dump it. But what I found super cool on this U-Haul trailer is I don't know what they manufactured here, but look at this. Automatic hydraulic brakes. It's only a four pin connector going up to my truck here. Um, but what I'm pretty sure when the, 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 the trailer or when the truck stops, this flexes forward and pumps brake fluid into the brakes on the trailer. That's absolutely incredible technology when you think about it, that there's no like electric brakes. It's all done by the force of the trailer and stuff. That is sweet. I have never seen that before, so that's kind of cool. Although, I mean, it's just a typical U-Haul trailer, but still. We're gonna go take this over to the scrapyard now, probably get $4 for it. We well, finally got the axle out of the driveway. 12,380. 12,060, wow. All right guys, now this is the official test here because Katie drove this Tahoe in Daytona. One with one, there's a glove line in the row, but with one of the front axles in, the steering rack bushing that was sliding left and right, inner tie rods that were popping, and what else did I fix? Oh, the hubs, the bad hubs. So she was driving completely messed up in Daytona, but now it, this is a real test, like first-hand account of how well we uh, we put the front end back together on this thing. Well, first things first, we just picked up some dessert for dinner we're going to do later, but we saw two people at the store. What is that lady waving at? But we saw two people at the store that watch this video, so if you guys are watching this video, thumbs up, guy in the Tahoe and the other guy in the parking lot. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching. Anyway, how is she driving? Great. I have to say the steering is totally different, obviously. Hitting bumps, I'm not like jerked, you know, to the left or to the right. Can I say those words? Yeah. Volkswagen with the fart can, we're sorry. But um, we still got we still gotta do the speedo because it's uh, about five miles an hour off. I gotta do the um, I gotta tune the, 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 the speedo right, but other than that, definite definitely a lot better, right? Yeah. But like when I got in here it's great. This is awesome. It's yeah. Like, it's totally it feels like a different vehicle. Well honest. that's what I was saying. I think between the hubs and everything else we did in the front end of this guy. It does like still drive kinda like a Jeep but a nice Jeep. Oh yeah, exactly. It drives like a Jeep. You're driving a you're driving a, a, a square lifted in the air. I mean, it, it literally drives like a Jeep. If you ever driven a lifted Jeep, you know what we're talking about. It literally just feels like it's like cushy and like sway. It's weird, but it drives great. Uh, but it does feel like a Jeep. But this thing is absolutely amazing. Probably one of the, my favorite vehicles I've built. That is for sure. Another Corvette over there. A little C6. Might have that Corvette fever now, but no. I really want wanted to put tow mirrors on here, but from the look on the outside, it looks too 
I don't know. It looks too like rugged and not like clean and smooth. These mirrors are very smooth, but the tow mirrors also, ooh, new ram. But the, 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 the tow mirrors are very boxy and square, so it changes the look of it completely. And I wanted like a clean, smooth look on this one. So, um, yeah, but, oh. This is this thing's great. I, I absolutely love this vehicle and this build for that matter. All right, guys. Well, it's the next day here. Uh, yesterday, Katie and I decided to chill and, and enjoy the 78 to 80 degree weather. It almost I think it hit 80 degrees yesterday, which is crazy. And today, again, it's like 40. So we're chilling in a whole different way today. We've got our new air heater coming over here, heating up our caliper paint. Um, this stuff here, VHD caliper paint, honestly some of the best in the business. I've painted so many vehicles with this paint and honestly the results come out well. I had a customer one time on a Cadillac wanted me to paint the calipers with a brush on. Uh, I do not like the brush on paint. Just the results don't look that good. But here's what we have. Obviously you guys know the front calipers are painted the VHD red already. That's how they were when I bought the Tahoe. Very confused at why the rears weren't done. Um, fully confused actually. Some of you are gonna wonder why I'm not gonna powder coat them because the fronts are already painted VHT red. Let's just match them. This is probably a situation some of you will be in. You'll probably get a vehicle where the fronts are painted, the rears aren't. Um, or you'll just get a vehicle that calipers were painted and you need to touch them up. Or you have a vehicle and you want to do the calipers but you don't wanna take them apart. Get new seals and all that stuff and rebuild your calipers just to powder coat them. There's a lot of people who don't wanna do that. So today I'm just gonna show you what to do here and at the same time, show you how good of results you can get on this really weathered caliper. There you kind of have it. Obviously, there's ways to do things, there's proper ways to do things, there's many ways to do things. And caliper paint is one of them touchy subjects, especially if you do powder coating or anything else, whatever way you take it, it is a touchy subject. As you can see, I did not take apart the caliper. For a daily driver, that is absolutely okay. Take your pads out. Don't spray paint directly into your piston. You'll be okay, I promise you. I promise you, you'll be okay. The reason why we didn't powder coat these, the Illusion Cherry or any sort, is literally because the fronts were already done. So we were just completing someone else's work. We got the rears to match the fronts in probably a couple hours, no trouble at all. Really didn't cause, like, cost us anything. Didn't waste that much time. We did it, we got it done. Uh, it, it dries quickly. I had the heater on it. It, it. it dries quickly. I literally can't speak any more for this than that. Look at how good this looks. It looks perfect. It's perfectly painted. Uh, uh, it's it, it, There it is. <laughs> that simple. Or probably gonna be in the comment section, oh, you got paint on the brake line, honestly. Driving a couple times, the fluid running through it, it'll flake off if you're really uh, kind of that uptight about it. Take some acetone and it'll come right off that brake line. Paint thinner even, it, it just comes off. If you wanna take the caliper off the vehicle, get all the brake fluid out of it and paint it, you can. That's what you're gonna to have to do if you're gonna powder coat it. I don't know if it was 13 or $23, but you can get new caliper brackets if you don't wanna sit there and chisel away all of that, like whatever coating was on it from factory. Um, as you can see, I think the, the bracket might be steel and the, the caliper thing might be aluminum, just the way they look. 
because uh, there's a coating on the bracket, but not so much the, the, the caliper and piston section itself. Uh, the paint really loves those aluminum smooth surfaces. Uh, it lays super flat, flows out amazing. And then all you really gotta do to cure this is drive the darn thing. Uh, once the calipers heat up, they'll bake on there. And that paint will cure. Um, if you let it dry long enough, it'll cure too, but it's supposed to be heat cured. All the VHT products are supposed to be heat cured. So you just drive with them, take a couple laps around the block once they're dry and uh, they will cure. So we'll probably take care of that tonight. But um, that's honestly gonna do it for today's video. I know um, we're kind of just picking away at the Tahoe, doing small things, getting things done. But our huge announcement that I've been waiting to tell you guys, honestly, honestly should be here for Tuesday's video. I know I've said this so many times, but I, I, it should be here for Tuesday's video. We're gonna knock on some wood here, but bear with me on Tuesday, guys, because it, it's gonna be a huge, 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 huge announcement. And um, that huge announcement's gonna lead into new builds and a lot of stuff. Um, some of you have kinda guessed it, kinda not guessed it, but I don't think anyone's got it 100% right why I say this thing that we're doing will open up our channel to huge, new, and amazing things. So in the meantime, guys, thank you all for your support. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, just something simple. I had to do it to the Tahoe anyway. I want to show you guys kind of the process, my, my doing behind it. You could take the bracket off, paint them separately, get them off the vehicle, do all that. But frankly, like me and a lot of you guys, DIY and just like, you want to get things done, quickly in a weekend, you can get amazing results. I physically showed you, you can get amazing results without taking them off, sandblasting them, get them all done. Like I said, unbolt them, hand sand them the best you can. Frankly, only a quarter of this caliper will ever be seen anyway. Um, however, it does look good all the way around. I'm not saying I like cheaped out and went quickly. It's well painted, but I'm just showing you that you can do that. Like all the videos on YouTube you'll see, you'll say, oh, take them off, separate them, drain them, clean them, bake them, do all this crazy stuff when you can get good results just like that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe, hit that notification bell as well, and get ready for Tuesday, guys because it'll be the end of an era, but the beginning of a new one. So if you guys enjoy this video, take care, and I will see you guys on Tuesday.